Good evening, my friends. Warmonger start push for United States involvement in Iran following Hamas attack. Yeah, Summit News. Uh, let's check the legacy media. They are balls to the wall covering Israel versus Gaza, and Hamas is threatening to execute hostages. That's absolutely lovely. Uh, but the Iran, Israel kept bombarding the shit out of Gaza, which... Hey, you know, it's, that's that's the strategy I'd use. So when the, all the legacy media is covering something, kind of look behind the scenes and what they're not covering in the open. But they do kind of cover it on the fringes, and I believe that is they're going to push for a new war with Iran. They don't give a shit about our southern border, by the way, but they want a new war. They want to skim some more money off. So let's go around the horn real quick. Egypt intelligence official says Israel ignored repeated warnings of something big. Cairo official says Israel was focusing on the West Bank instead of Gaza. Egypt spy chief said to warn the prime minister of a terrible operation, and Netanyahu denies it. There's a little, there's very much a fog of war about this story. Of course, it's been denied, but I believe they allowed this to happen. Uh, the Israelis allowed this to happen. But again, you know, I'm very, I'm very conspiratorial about events, my friends. All the way going back to Waco, the official story of what happened at the end of the Waco siege, very suspect. So, uh, the United States warns Hezbollah to stay out of the Gaza war with a sternly worded tweet, I guess, but the United States does not project strength when Beijing Biden calls a lid before noon today. As nine Americans, it's actually 11 confirmed American deaths, uh, and several others are still missing. I guess Beijing Biden was a little too tired after his barbecue last night with uh, White House staffers and family. Maybe he sniffed all of the children. So, while Hamas was raping and brutalizing women, this UN account, uh, United States Women, or UN Women, United Nations Women, the UN Entity for Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment, uh, today, yesterday, sorry, Remember trans lesbians are lesbians, too. That's a, a, a dude pretending to be a woman uh, who likes women. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I just don't pretend to be a woman, and I love women. So let's uplift and honor every expression of love and identity. Happy International Lesbians Day. Hash, uh, at free equal. Fuck off. Okay, back to Summit News. It's long past time for the Iranian terrorist state to pay a price for all the upheaval and destruction being sown throughout the region and world. Okay. Following the deadly coordinated attack on innocent civilians in Gaza, Hamas ter by Hamas terrorists, U.S. Hawks Warhawks have been beyond their usual warmongering push, looking to re-engage unite America in the Middle East conflict. In a Middle East conflict, look, we're tapped out, man. You're on your, you guys are on your fucking own. All right. Good luck. I don't have a side here. I don't care. I just don't want to be part of a nuclear conflagration. Call me selfish. GOP Senator Lindsey Graham, who I've always suspected to be a homosexual, was head of the line, banding around threats to Iran that we're going to come after you if there's an escalation involving Hezbollah, which I think that's coming next. We shall see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hey, they will make pay make Iran pay a, hef a hefty price. Now, Lindsey Graham is a big swinging dick on Twitter, but in reality, he's a gigantic pussy. Uh, to my Israeli friends, do whatever you have to do, as long as you have to do it. And if to Iran, if the war escalates with Hezbollah, we're all going to come after you. And, and note, he's going to make a pretty penny off of this war. They always seem to. We don't, but they do. Curious. Hmm. Iran should pay dearly for an escalation directed at Israel involving Hezbollah. He's a Twitter tough guy, my friends. If Hezbollah and other Iranian proxies attempt to attack Israeli defense systems, the United States should immediately target Iranian oil refineries and oil infrastructure, which is the lifeblood of the Iranian economy. While true, that would be a colossal, huge, dumb fucking mistake. Because, look, man, you guys are like two or three escalations away from a limited nuclear exchange, I believe. Because, I mean, Iran... China, Russia, or kind of this new axis of some sort. And fuck with one, you're going to be fucking with them all, and that's going to be trouble. We do not want, we do not want to fuck around and find out these days. Because the United States is as weak as it's been in my lifetime. So tough guy senator continued, it's long past, oh we've already said that idiotic statement. 
Uh, fake Jew Secretary of State Anthony Blinken stated Sunday that Iran consistently funded terrorism in groups like Hamas. Ironic that the Beijing Biden administration just provided the regime with an unfrozen $6 billion in aid. Iran is on, has unfortunately always used and focused its funds on supporting terrorism and on supporting groups like Hamas. Huh. Interesting. And Blinken claimed those funds had nothing to do with the attacks. So, uh, these were not U.S. taxpayer dollars. No shit, asshole. These were Iranian dollars that were stuck in a bank in South Korea. Hey, dipshit, I happen to know the word fungibility, and dollars are dollars. They're spendable from anywhere by anyone. They're the same. A dollar in my pocket is the same as a dollar frozen in a bank in South Korea. Uh, those dollars could have been used in to, to, to fund anything, and they most likely were involved in this. Uh, say they weren't. And hey, note they 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 aren't refreezing those that money. They don't give a shit. So, and Nikki Haley, for the love of Christ, do not pick this bitch as your VP, Donald Trump. This is not an attack on Israel. This is an attack on America. No, note, I'm not a fucking Republican. I am no party affiliation across the board, because Republicans are exactly like this. They're fucking gracious losers, but they, for the love of God, they are warmongers. This was not an attack on America, Nikki Haley. And she also says they should have hell to pay for what they've just done. Well, get a fucking, get a fucking M4 and go over there, bitch. Go, go bring them hell. Face the nation. Israeli ambassador to the United States. We suspect that Iran is involved. We covered that last night too. When Israel is will will take with asked if Israel will take the fight to Iran, Herzog says, "I will just say whoever strikes Israel, we will strike back." Hey, good luck, man. Good luck. Best of luck. Don't have a side here. I don't want to get involved. I don't want the United States get involved. Uh, cover the southern border. How about that first? And this could lead to all a full-on world war. My biggest fear. Let's dig into this tweet here. Whoops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> if the United States and Israel stumble into the conflict with Iran, it will be unlike anything either has faced since the 70s. Iran not only has the capability to strategically bombard Israel proper in response to aggression thanks to deep stocks of munitions, its missile force is also sophisticated to the point where it could cripple the U.S. CENTCOM assets in the wider region. This means not only destroying U.S. bases like in, in Iraq or Bahrain, but also closing the Strait of Hormuz and the Bab el Mendeb Strait to oil shipping. This would likely collapse the Western economies due to their dependence on foreign oil. Note, in 2019, we were energy independent. Thank you, Joe Biden, for fucking that up, too. It's easy to imagine the collapse in U.S. prestige and power projection capabilities that would follow such a conflict, particularly if Iran is able to sink American carriers as they have the capacity to do. And I believe that, because we're going to cover that in a minute. Uh, war is not the same as it was in 1950, my friends. There are new players on the battlefield, and those are called kamikaze drones, my friends. It takes like maybe $10,000 worth of equipment to sink a multi, multi-million dollar aircraft carrier. So, anyway, back to Summit News. Uh, the U.S. If the U.S. Des decides to directly intervene in the Ga Gaza conflict, U.S. bases and troops in the region will all become legitimate targets for the axis of resistance. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a catchy name. I like that. Whoops, I didn't want to click into that. Get out of here. Uh, Iraqi, uh, Iraqi, I, I can, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but they're linked to Hezbollah in Iran. These guys in Hezbollah, is that, that's, that's not that, that tweet, is it? Yeah, if this, yeah, okay. These guys in Hezbollah have missiles, Iranian kamikaze drones, ballistic missiles, and torpedoes that can easily sink a billion dollar aircraft carrier. Mm-hmm. And the Gerald R4 carrier strike group is moving closer to Israel. We covered that yesterday. And the Western media is setting the stage for a NATO attack. NATO to attack Iran. I remember the same rhetoric as the U.S. was planning to invade Iraq. I do too. That was only 20 years ago. They had evidence that Saddam had a part in 9/11. He did not, and he had weapons of mass destruction. He had a few, but not really worth that. It was basically lies. Uh, if you want to get, actually get entertained, go watch the Dave Chappelle sketch called Black. Bush. That is the funniest shit you're ever going to see about the Iraq War. 
So we covered this yet last night. Iran held planned the attack, Hamas attack on Israel and gave the green light for assault in the meeting for, in Beirut last week. We covered that. So the U.S. borders are already an afterthought. What would happen if the country becomes embroiled in another military misadventure? It's, this is Charlie Kirk here. It's indefensible and evil what happened to Israel, but I wish him the best of luck. Take, bring him hell, man. Take it to him. It's also weird how many American leaders are more passionate about a foreign country than their own border invasion. It, it is also note that uh, most leftoids care a fuck ton about Ukraine's borders, but don't really give a shit about our southern border, because God knows how many terrorists are coming in through there. Uh, who knows? I don't know. I, I don't think that uh, many Americans may die if there are sleeper cells here. But they're going to get taken out pretty quickly because Americans are armed. A lot of them are armed. It just takes one sleeper cell attack for people to start open carrying, in my opinion. At least in Florida, I believe it's completely legal. So, well, I think you can conceal carry without a permit, but you can't open carry. But then pretty much everyone's going to be concealed carrying, I would like to think. But at least a good portion of people will be concealed carrying. I mean, hell, maybe these terrorists, maybe they're Islamic. I'm just spitballing here. Uh, we're we're done covering material on the story, but uh, Iran, like let's say an Iranian Iranian terrorist gets in in through the southern border, completely plausible. I can even I can even probably draw you a, a map on how it can be done. Anyway, it's so fucking easy, my friends. Anyway, if he gets here, he decides that you know, hey, you know, bacon tastes good, uh, liquor is dirt fucking cheap. And uh, the United States gives me $2,200 a month, and uh, and I can go to titty bars, and that's awesome. And I can eat, I can eat, <laughs> I can eat beef and bacon, and and you know, fuck as many women as I want to fuck, and and see tits, and and I got the internet, and nothing's blocked, and <laughs> it's awesome. I, I'm gonna. I, I love America. I, I don't want to be a terrorist anymore. It's just. That's just a theory. I'm just way, way off script here. I, I don't have a script. I just wing all these videos anyway. So that's it. That's all we're gonna do. If you like my content, hit subscribe, the like button, notification bell, leave me a comment, read all the comments, my friends. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Pick up some non-perishable food and God bless.